welcome back everyone Grogen here and we're back with the next episode of Man of Medan So we're going to carry on straight from where we left off Got myself a fresh cup of tea and we are good to go So hope you enjoyed the first episode I didn't expect to get jump scared as many times as I did So I'm looking forward to carrying on and seeing how we get on So just continue Water and instead it gets totally reused Then it reduces decompression time on your way up State of the art Sounds good Okay Oh, Anything to done. keep us alive down there. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Eh, uh, thanks for setting me straight. Thanks for setting me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you hey, little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Going in from the back. Are we taking a knife with us? What are we expecting down there? Looking for a first mate, Captain. Uh, we want to take this. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. I thought we were gonna take both. I didn't realize it was just gonna be one of them. All right, kids. Good to go. What's just that? Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. I don't understand what these are. We can't seem to press anything with them. I heard oh well. that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Is that like a little electric stick thing? Um, altruistic, relaxed, eager, and deceitful. Why are we deceitful? And we're getting ready to go down. How clear that water looks from underneath. Whoa, you good? More or less. You know what? I can swim. I like. Oh, don't like sharks though. I can swim. She been flips so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> It's not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. It's a plane, of course it is. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Well, we know the way in. He's just told us it's at the back. But yeah, I can swim. But going under there like that would scare me to death. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. <laughs> no. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure, why not? Sure. Why not? Should the captain be drinking though? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's well, complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. What's going on? Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. That aye, sounds aye. like bad weather, that. Motivated, excited, guarded, and relaxed. So, that was already on a minute ago. Weather so, what looks we got? Clear. Eight o'clock, we're gonna have thunderstorms. Mm. I don't I have know. To keep an eye on those clouds. Don't know where we are though. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. There's one other boat. <laughs> uh do we are we meant to press that again? Little blip. What you doing all the way out here? 
All right. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything we can do there. But let's go and talk to the guy again. Hey there. How's it hanging? Taking advantage of you your look relaxation. You like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you benched? So beached? are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. It's a good <laughs> use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Shades updated. Relaxed, excited, generous, witty. God, the courageous is gone now. We need to be a little bit courageous, I guess. That's not something we can check. Uh, that is, though. Oh, are we going to be able to see this boat that was out in the distance? Some cracks on this. That little boy that was in the water before is gone. No one about, though. All right, so I uh, guess we've already spoke to him. We don't need to do it again. Nothing else there. Something just flashed up then. Maybe not, maybe not. How's it going? Not oh. that Michael Frosty. I forgot he was Man, here. I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Probing what you know. What do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. How'd you figure out? I'm impressed. What? Uh, that one. Impressed. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Unsettled. I hope they respect the site. Interested. You can use them old stories. I just hope they respect the site. People died there. They understand the rules. They get it. But... I'm not sure how much that actually matters to Julia. Mm -hmm. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Check you later. Right, is there any point going in this room? Was there anything in there? No, we've already checked in there, haven't we? But does it make a difference if different people check stuff? I don't know. We'll leave it for now and just go back up top. So now what? Uh, Check this again. Oh, there's something else close by. There was something right below us then. Oh no, it wasn't. That was just uh, the thing to click on. So we gotta just go and talk to this guy again. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! <laughs> Game set match. Uh huh. She's very dry, isn't she? What are we meant to be checking here? There's nothing else around. Ah, there we go. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. No signal down there. We must be missing something. That was ours, we know that, we've seen it. There we go, we checked everything then. Oh, someone coming, someone coming. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, be quiet and let me handle it. Uh, we are not doing anything. Motivated, excited, altruistic, and relaxed. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? We got that. Hey, 
Oh, oh they clashed. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Relax, motivated, excited, altruistic. Okay, so they've just turned away. No, they haven't. They're coming back again. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look Ooh, at our boat. he looks scary. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. He's looking to get killed, isn't well, he? Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. He's got too much money. He's got too much money that he thinks he can just throw it at people and it'll work. And we're back underwater. So it's all heating up upstairs and we are oblivious. Oh, there's someone's dead body there. Have you been down here a while? Been down here a while. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Got to be deep there, haven't we? The turret. We can get in through there. Imagine going in some little scary hole like that deep in the water. Look at that big piece of metal sticking out. Gotta be careful with that. I uh, nearly didn't know what to press then. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. X, Y, A, and B. That's what my buttons are. Uh, ladies first. Explore the plane wreck and return to the surface. Okay, just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? This is it. true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. What do you mean, go, go, go? Do is it uh, something to check there? Ah, uh, that's one of them pictures. She looks like she's having a heart attack. Premonition unlocked. This is horrible. It's so dark. And the controls are weird. Looks like we're just going forward anyway. Oh, something there. What's Check this? They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Missing lifeboats. A lifeboat's missing from the B-29 plane. It had been launched during the plane's mission. Update the plane must have been flying low to drop the lifeboat. Lifeboat when it was shot at. Update. The, the, the ship's crew attacked the B-29 due to hallucinations. Let's see what okay. else we can find. Special feature unlocked. Oh There's something God. else. Oh, it's a dead body. Do we really want to turn this around? Something. Some photos of his family, maybe. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Yeah, well, they got shot down, that right? Something up there. Uh, you hear that? Let's no. check it out. I didn't hear nothing. Well, I think it might be a shark. Oh, we just popped a lock. Bird and updated. I don't know what these means. Really don't. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, we just dropped it. Oh, well, he had the gun in his hand when he died. And he still got it. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that. 
God. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Especially not into the ocean. Oh, I thought we were waiting for the cutscene, like the cutscene to finish then. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we turn it? Imagine it starts a move. Oh, it did as well. <laughs> Anything else, please. Well, his brother was right, wasn't he? Have we, have we already checked that? He's holding. Yeah, something. we did. We did. All right, let's head out. We've we've explored the plane, and we are gonna go and take off back to the surface. We've looked at that. Oh, what's that one? We've never seen that one before. Is that a, this bullets? Secret found. A shell on the wreck B-29 found lodged in the plane. The wreck B-29 was shot down. Update. The B-29 was gunned down from the Orang Medan. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. We've just left him there. Is he? Are we? Are we leaving? Or was there more to look at in there? Right, I don't know whether there's a bit more to look at. I'm just gonna shoot back because we've left him in there, haven't we? Yeah, that was the way. He's got me thinking that we've missed something. Why isn't he coming with us? no like a fast swim on this you just gotta go okay so we've looked at that there's nothing else in here so yeah why isn't he following us I'm stuck he's holding something yeah we've checked it okay we're just gonna leave we're gonna leave I think we've done it Well, not jumping out on me, I don't. <laughs> What's that? Oh, we didn't see that before either. That looks like a missile launching thing. Oh, there's a piece of paper there. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? We can do it. Live a little. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Oh, we're gonna have to be quick, I guess. Live a little, Edgeworth. Hold your breath. <gasps> oh, she, if she's got me controlling it, she's got no chance. Traits updated. Cunning, courageous, excited, and generous. Oh! What the hell? Graphics are so good. So we want that piece of paper. Oh shit, 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 I pressed the wrong button. There we go, we got it. Give us a second chance. <gasps> Where have we just gone? Ah, oh, he saved us, he saved us. Nice. We have to blow all the water out. You do something stupid down here. That's it. One chance. You get that. I was fine. Chill out. I'm fine. See, no problemo. Searching in progress. Area one clear. Area two clear. Area three clear. Says it was a rescue uh, plane. On the back. Launch from a U.S. base. Air rescue service flight plan. Flight type VFR search mission aircraft. Uh, Okay, some tech secured. 
Take off US airbase somewhere on an island destination unknown. They were on their way to help out a ship. Still don't know what they mean. Oh, it's fell down, it's fell down. We need to go. We gotta get out of here. Oh, shark! <gasps> shark! Now there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! It's a grey weed shark. Don't be saying Not that. interested in us. Good, go. good, good. Well, it got pretty oh. close to something that's not interested in us. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. I'm on my knees right now. Will you marry me? I, I. Oh crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just. I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Well, she's got him wrapped around his finger. She's gonna say wow. yeah, isn't she? What a goddamn story. That's one place to propose. Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> Should we get out away from the sharks first? All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? Yeah, let's go. Achievements unlocked. Quinn, yes, yes, I'll marry you. Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Oh, there's that boat leaving. Where did the boat come from? We see all the money floating in the water now. Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Oh shit! Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Wait, we gotta decompress. Yeah. yeah, okay. I don't know what that means, decompress, but. Decompress, right. Have we just left them to die? Fuck it, I'm going. Fuck it, I'm going. And he's not going with her. His brother's up there as well. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Barbecue, really? There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Uh, what's up with the other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. We can't do anything with these. If anyone knows what this means, let me know. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Let's go and celebrate. We got beer. We got a dangerous barbecue. And we're back in this little place now. Writing our story. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Definitely. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And maybe. then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. Really? And some I think they may regret. That's more like it. <laughs> so it's going dark now, and we're still on the boat. 
So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. That's what he comes out for, isn't it? He likes his um, so, history stuff. How does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? I can't say anything. Honestly, there we go. I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Yeah, let's plan it now together. You're speaking What's she saying? Let that foot the bill. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. Just realize you can say nothing. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. You can start like walk all over me. So you can walk all over me. <laughs> Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. See, go I'm not even gonna click on that relax. anymore. I don't know what it's for, unless something. Hey, you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Oh, the Let's captain and a brother sure. have disappeared. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Apologize for my brother. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, <laughs> beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Traits updated. Witty, generous, excited, and selfish. There's plenty of beer to go down, though. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What's this? Oh, the camera. Can we look at the photos that we took? Be a man post -proposal. Relieving, honestly. No, guess not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be the pictures come out well on that, didn't they, for being underwater? Air rescue service. Common Island. I keep thinking we're going to see something bad on one of them photos. Okay, we're not. I thought we were going to see like a ghost or something. Someone like standing behind us when we were down there. Over the top, bro. So. We're going again tomorrow. Something on the table there, what's that? Yeah, hey, something we can check though. Oh, it's the bullet. Seems a little too dangerous for my blood. Is there anything with it? No. It's just the bullet. A rusty one. So we're looking for our case, aren't we? Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. And he couldn't have just let her do it herself. Come here, you vixen. Yeah, this was his plan. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. So what do we got here? <laughs> I 
he's had enough. <laughs> hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's, uh... When you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. She's telling not going to like that. You, take orders from this guy, just drink a beer. Better stick to water. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. I know I said they weren't going to click on these, right? But I want to know why it keeps telling us that we've got updated right, stuff. Everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Dismissive. Oh, come on. No one knows we already know she's down there. Selfish. Only ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. <laughs> not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Shades updated, selfish, excited, witty, and generous. Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. <laughs> Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. <laughs> the woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook, and meat hung from the rafters. <laughs> so gross. Okay, so, who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. <laughs> You're locked in. 
So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. As if. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hello. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> See where his face nice changed, though? Squire. It wasn't scary. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. <laughs> I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> 10 4, good buddy. And I'm out. Is that boat? I thought that boat was going to just come in at the back then. So I've noticed then if I didn't press RB in the top left, it tells you which straight went up and down. So it said eagerness went up there. The Duke of Milan. Milan, no. Can't read all of that word. Duke of Milan. Ooh, who's that? They are not creepy. Imagine waking up to that. Oh, don't make me press buttons fast. Oh shit, that's not X. We're gonna get someone killed by pressing the wrong button, maybe. Oh, is she gonna cut him? <gasps> Who are these people? That's the fishermen meant them people that were there before. See, it was a bad idea to throw the money at him. Ungag which one, which one, which one? The captain. Ungag the captain. I mean, you could have done both. Gag him. Where's the other one? Oh, she's there. Taking the captain. Almost free. She's almost free. I couldn't get my hands around there like that. Not flexible enough. Probably a bit too wide as well. Hey, so uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? How does the others get getting worse? The bad news is these are kind of. Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I'm 
just heard the story about a fish hook. <laughs> um, untie. Guys, we gotta get untied right now. Come on, get down. Fuck out. I'll be back for you later. Oh, he's taking him now as well. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. He's brave, isn't he? Ooh. Sorry, he opened his mouth now, though. Uh. What do you want? What do you fuckers want? He's got a knife. He's got a knife. Slow down. Easy. Please. Just stop, man. We we'll finish with him later. We we'll finish with him later. That's good. That's good. Jake's updated. Impatient, so. Why has he gone back? Be on your best behavior, little man. Get off! Get off! <coughs> what? Oh, he's... He's got a pair of, like, nail clippers untying him. Coming back. What's it about four of them, all right? Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop oh, it, he's taking her now as well. Why is he taking them one at a time? Is this like an intimidation tactic? Been banging on the by surprise. He's just been banging on the door. Do you know okay. he's not tied up? They're coming. Fuck. Motherfuckers. Hey, hey. Are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? Money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, Ooh. it's okay. It's okay. Could be replaced, right? We're all still alive up to now. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. <laughs> that doesn't sound ominous, does it? Eight miles away. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. 
came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. I can sneak can around. Distract him. I can sneak around in a speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. Smart. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. This is like a film, this game. Press the hell, guys. Conrad, just get to the boat. I pressed the right trigger and nothing happened. Traits updated. Couldn't. Oh shit. Hey, 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 which one's A? Hey. Gotta concentrate here. Tommy, now! There's a knife. Um, uh, uh, grab a knife. Drop it, Buster. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. He's gonna get killed, isn't he? What are you doing, you idiot? Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, also. Take it. No, 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 no. I didn't know he was going to drop it. <laughs> Bring them downstairs. Oh, that was a bad call. I should have escaped. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Going through all the cupboards. Olsen! Oh, that was off. Was that Come the thing off the ship? No, oh, that, that wouldn't be dry, would it? Off the plane, I mean. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian gold? Manchurian gold? Manchurian gold? So we're going to the coordinates. Duke of Milan, 21st of June. Shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. Uh, reassure him. We're only talking. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain, and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Enraged. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're 
all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, so. Put a cork in it. Shades of Dated. Oh, okay, and <laughs> we're ready for that. How long the storm is gonna last? Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. Within the hour. Sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Shades updated. What do we get? Relaxed. That uh, was on him. Whoa. Oh. Oh, we're tied to it. We're tied to it anyway. We wouldn't have fell off. Seems quite bad, you know. Wait. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Eh. Uh, what do I do? Help! I didn't do it any in time. I don't think. Oh, the brother, he's still down, lying under the bed. He's gonna get drowned. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. Um, he might drown. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. Altruistic bueno. There he is, there he is, he's safe now. Well, I say safe, I mean, he's out here with us with the gun points at him, but you know. What's that? Is that a big ship then? Oh, that looks. That looks like it's come from underwater and it rolls up to the top. Like a proper ghost ship. Oh, we hit it. This isn't good. And again. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Are you so kind? Tempted? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. That made anyway, no sense. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, <laughs> I presume you're <laughs> eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. A little, um, 
What are they called? Hip flask. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Everything is not always as it seems, did he just say? Right. That is going to be where we end episode two. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Really means a lot. Enjoying this game so far. If you are new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the thumbs up, drop some comments, let us know what you think so far, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.